Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be detailing a vintage card buy I made last night. Uh, someone uh, who had reached out to me at the uh, flea market uh, about some uh, cards he had in his collection that he wanted to sell. Uh, this was an extensive collection. I went to see it. It was incredible. So let's just get right to it. Uh, I couldn't buy the whole collection because uh, he just had some really high-end stuff and he had some uh, stuff that was just uh, through the roof. Um, I finally made some time to go see him. Uh, we've been having some family, um, you know, some family issues. So we just tried to make a little bit of time on the fly. I went to see some of the stuff. His collection was incredible. I mean, just incredible. Just some really nice stuff. Some 50s, some 60s. Um, and some stuff he didn't want to part with. But this was some of the stuff that we didn't that he didn't want to part with. This was a... So it was a tote with roughly about a 1,000 cards in it. Um, mostly from the 70s. Uh, so I decided to buy one of the totes. I left one of them behind because the pricing had to work out, right? Uh, but let's just take a look at what we got. We had some um, Tony Pena rookies. I'm going to try to go through this quick. This is from 1981. Uh, this is just a random rookie. Um, and then some other 81s that were very sharp, conditioned cards. Some are commons. So I'm going to put this up here, and we'll fire through these pretty quickly. Um, Don Sutton. Uh, there are stars in here, so that was the reason. Uh, the tote just looked to me like it had enough stars so that it could be profitable. As you guys know, most of my top stuff um, is pretty much all set. There's an Andre Dawson. Another Tony Pena rookie. So I'm kind of still finding what's in here. Uh, Kingman, Buckner. Robin Yell, uh, third year Ozzie Smiths, more Robin Yell, more Robin Yell. They're, they're in pretty nice condition on these. Uh, some rookies there, then a slamp, more Ozzie Smith. <clears throat> Sorry, just trying to get comfortable here. <clears throat> Phil, Phil Necro, an older Phil Necro, Willie Hernandez. So I'm just going to fire through these as quick as I can because there's quite a bit to look at. Johnny Bench. Another Johnny Bench. That one's in a little bit rougher shape. Uh, Steve Carlton, Record Breaker. So there's some cards in here that, you know, Joe Morgan. <clears throat> Steve Garvey. Flip these over. So just kind of rummaging through what came in. Jack Morris. R more Robin Yao. Gaylord Perry. So basically some decent cards. Another Johnny Bench. That one much nicer shape with the corners and surface. <laughs> Another Johnny Bench. Again in good shape. So roughly I worked this out to I paid about a quarter per card for the whole tote. And so there's a couple of cards in here. There's a Kurt Gibson. I believe that's the Kurt Gibson rookie from 81. Tom Seaver. And so on. So that's the 81s. <clears throat> and there was some nice stuff in there. But that's not the reason I bought the tote. 
So when I bought this tote, uh, you know, he quoted me a price and I was like, well, I was trying to see if it made sense, you know, uh, and I had to kind of justify if I'm going to pay, I think he quoted me 300. I, I, I said 250 so I could know I was going to make my money back because I was really kind of going through the tote rather quickly. So these are the 78s, Dave Winfield. There weren't a lot of 78s in that tote. He had other totes. I don't know what that price tag is about. That's probably for another card. He just probably reused the top loader. Robin Yount. Tommy John. Longborg. Don Baylor. Uh, Barry Bonds. And Tom Seaver. So those cards look like they're in pretty good shape. There were more 78s. But... I just tried to pick out some of the stars that I saw from 78. I did find one vintage card in there. Uh, and this is a rookie of nobody. Uh, David Adlish and Lee Bales. So there was a tote of Opeachy. I'm sorry. There was a box with some 79 Opeachy. And me personally, at least, I don't see a lot of Opeachy. So this was kind of what I sorted through. Uh, and, you know, there's commons in here. Mostly it's commons, Jaeger. Uh, but there were a couple of decent uh, stars like Bob Boone, semi-stars. Um, Johnny Grubb, you know, Reggie Cleveland, Larry Boa. All-star card. Denny Martinez. <clears throat> Just trying to sort of flip through to the uh, one or two good players that was in it. These I paid a dime a card on them. So there's one. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm in a sort of uncomfortable position here. So that's a Cecil Cooper. 79 Opeachy. Pedro Bourbon. Art Howe. So nothing in here that's like over the top. Tug McGraw. But I like the Opeachy. Uh, you don't get an... I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when I buy a collection, I'm really looking to hopefully buy stuff that Bruce Bochy. To buy stuff, Longborg, Dave Concepcion. This is probably the best card from the Opeachy lot. So for Opeachy, it's pretty nice. Um, so like I was saying, when I'm buying cards, I'm trying to buy something. I don't want duplication of just stuff that I already have. And most of the stuff that he wanted to sell was either, uh, you know, really expensive uh, in my humble opinion or, but these are in nice shape uh, or, you know, these, he said, if you take all of the 79 OPG, which there was, excuse me, roughly about 160 of them. He was like, um, I'll, I'll do them at, at a dime a card. So I was like, all right, we can do that. The other thing that was in there were some 76s. So this, this, the 76s and the um, 79s, not the OPG, but the tops, was why I bought the lot. All right, so we got a Frank Tanana, Strikeout Leaders, uh, a couple of Steve Carlton cards, Tom Seaver, another Tom Seaver. So there was heavy duplication, but of the right guys. So here we go, uh, 76 Pete Rose, 76 Ken Griffey. These are all 76s, so Johnny Bench, pretty nice. Not great, but pretty nice. Tommy John. Tom Seaver, Record Breaker. 
Let's see if I can. So there was a couple of those. Let me see if I can tilt this just a hair so we can get a better look at them this way. Gary Carter. A bunch of Don Suttons. Sutton, Sutton, Sutton. So there, some are lesser condition, uh, G, V, G. Some are excellent to mint. So Carl Yastrzemski. A bunch of Brooks Robinsons. So basically, the tote cost me 250 bucks. I had to determine if what was in the tote was going to at least get me my 250 bucks back. I, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Uh, on the fly, sometimes you can't really judge that. It's Goose Gossage. A couple of Tom Seaver uh, League Leader cards. All right. Then you had Willie Stargell. These are in the top loaders that they came in. So there's uh, one, two, three, four Willie Stargels. And we've already talked about in the past that Willie Stargell doesn't really get the love in the hobby that he should. Barry Bonds, uh, Bobby Bonds traded. Pie Trainer. There were f at least four of those. There were also some 76s and 79s that were not in top loaders. They were in pretty good shape. I wanted to sort of avoid those um, if I could. Uh, I didn't even really go through those yet, but uh, I, I don't imagine there's anything. It's probably going to be very similar to this. Walter Johnson, the Sporting News All-Time All-Stars. These are all all-time all-star cards. So here we got Ty Cobb. Sorry if this is going to be I'm trying to keep the video relatively reasonable. Uh, the best stuff is at the end, though, so you might want to stick around for that. So you got Lefty Grove, four of those. Uh, five of the all time all stars, Rogers Hornsby. So if you guys need any of this, I'm going to leave my email in the description. Reach out to me and we might be able to work out something for you. And uh, four different Lou Gehrig's. And these cards are relatively in nice shape. I mean, there's some that are bummers that they're like GVG. But most of them are VG excellent or above. So uh, very good for someone looking to finish a set. So if that's something you see any cards that you, you absolutely desperately need for your sets let me know all right so let's get to the to the big dogs and why i bought the why i bought this thing right so 79 and there's mass duplication but so just to give you an idea one there's 12 johnny bench cards that I found so far. And I know there's more Johnny. These were the ones in the top loaders. There's more Johnny bench. I saw some more Johnny bench in the, uh, in the, uh, loose cards as well. This 13 that I've counted so far Jim Hunter cards. Let's see how many more. This is probably about 20 to 25 Jim Hunter cards. They're in really nice shape. Easy sell on eBay. Uh, if you're looking, check them out. I'll be posting them as uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, a ton of of Tony Perez, probably about 
there, he's not. That's not a rookie, by the way. I know that said rookie, but it's not a rookie. So there's about thirty Tony Perez cards. So anybody who needs a Tony Perez, reach out. Um, you the link to my eBay store is in the description below, but also you can reach out through email as well if that's the way you want to go. All right. Then we had about 10 79 Joe Morgans. I mean, the so basically the tote was loaded with stars. 579 Don Suttons. Six Bruce Suiters. Six Robin Younts. Again, this is without even going through the uh, um, four uh, Lou Whitakers. This is without even going through the uh, loose cards, which, like I said, I picked this up last night. Uh, today's Super Bowl Sunday, so I'm just trying to do some stuff and see what we got. Four Paul Molitors. Couple of Tom Seavers. Sorry. Couple of Andre Dawson's. Jim Rice. That one's a little beat up. Uh, I don't know how this one escaped, but it did. Another Joe Morgan, but this one is a Ken Griffey. It's a really nice card. I like the look of that card. Uh, it's in good condition. Um uh, Three seventy nine Pete Rose. Some Fergie Jenkins, probably about eight Fergie Jenkins, seventy nines. Two Goose Gossages from the Yankees. Willie Stargell. George Foster, Jim Rice, uh, runs RBI leaders. Eck, Frank Tanana, Gaylord Perry. Couple of Yastremskis. Raleigh Fingers. Couple of Dave Winfields. Six Alan Trammels. So I figured just the bulk of stars was what sold me on this. I figure there's 10 Jack Morris cards. And they're all in pretty nice shape. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some bummers. There's some I won't be able to sell even for a dollar, probably. I'll probably have to take less than a dollar. But, but there's others that will sell for more than a dollar. And that's where, I guess, the money will be made on this deal. I'm hoping that if it goes through and it works out, there was another tilt with a bunch of 77s, but the 77s had more commons than stars and he wanted more for that. So I was like, no, nah, I'm going to have to pass on that. Uh, and then finally, the real reason I bought the lot. Nolan Ryan. So 
there is a ton of 79 Nolan Ryan cards in here. So the base card, Nolan Ryan's, there's nine of these. Nine Nolan Ryan's for the base. This is a you know fairly decent amount for that card. I mean, not like you know ten bucks, um, eight bucks, something like that. It's somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, then there was. Jeez. Uh, about 20 of these Nolan Ryan, Walter Johnson, all-time record holders, strikeouts card. So Nolan Ryan is the season record holder and Walter Johnson was career. There's that many. About 20 or so there. Can never get enough of this guy. One of the best hitters of all time, Pete Rose. Charlie Hustle, two record breaker record breaker cards of his. More Nolan Ryan. This is the strikeout leaders card. There's eight of these. Him and J.R. Richard. So these are really nice. So those will those will sell well. Uh, Nolan Ryan just sells. And then to cap it off, I looked at them so, and there they were, four Ozzy Smith rookies. None of these is candidates for grading. I'm gonna go through them really quick. See this one. It's got three pretty decent corners, but dang, it's got a flipped back corner there. So clearly you can see the top loaders were reused because on some cards that are probably like dollar cards, he has $60 on it. And on the card that's probably like a 10 or 10 or $15 card, he has 50 cents. So he reused, clearly reused the top loaders. This one here, not bad off center. It's got some dinged corners at the bottom. So, again, not a candidate for grading. This one here, badly off center. And some corner issues. But they're Ozzy Smith rookies. And so they'll sell. They'll do all right. And uh, this one here is the last one. And again, same thing. Some issues on the corners. The centering is a hair better on this. You know, it's uh, left to right, top to bottom is an issue. But the, the bigger issue to me are the corners. Um, so if you're interested in just an Aussie to complete your set, uh, those will be posted on eBay shortly as well. Hey, guys, listen, I want to thank you all for watching. <clears throat> and um, I want to thank all the new subscribers, all the old subscribers, everybody who supports the channel. I've been trying to post videos as best I can, but, uh, you know, my mom has been sick, so we're trying to deal with that right now, and that takes top priority. Uh, so I'm going to do as best I can to get out the videos and stay on top of that, but obviously family comes first, and uh, he is wishing that you and all of your family is doing well. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, and uh, God bless you and yours. And uh, if you enjoy the content, feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Um, hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is released. All that good stuff. Uh, and again, if you see anything you absolutely need to have, reach out to me either through the eBay store or through my email, which will be in the description. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, happy hunting. Thanks.